Check this out. Look at that. Just walk down the street with a sword with bright pink hair. Oh, yes. Perfect. No, Charles, it is not a standard meteorological phenomenon which is about the sun reflecting through the water drops. No, it's not science. The cloud is on the fucking spectrum, okay? You want to have kids and a family? No, have a gay sky. the authority gently watches over all the travelers making sure they don't commit any thought crimes hate crimes uh, word crimes uh, internet crimes very serious business so it's not tickets today it's not traveling without a ticket this is police operation servitor um, translatable to the public as the anti crackhead operation it's all about getting the violent the aggressive the forceful out of the city centre and uh, hopefully into jail. Police outside Ann Summers, someone who's been f fingering and stealing the eight inch, uh, you know, anatomically correct Eduardo. It satisfies, it fills, and it's the number one stolen item. The giant, thick, girthy eight inch Eduardo. They love it. Um, yeah, nice handbag, Vivian. Old and modern, which do you prefer? They'll be demolishing the modern one in 10 years, so only the old one will still be here. Here's another example. The old and the new, and they're already in the process of demolishing that new one. Oh my, oh my. Oh, okay. Okay, here in St. Anne's Square they have the Suka or Suk, Suka, Sukot. I think in, in English it's Sukot and I think in Hebrew it's Suka. So it's interesting while we stand here. Hey dude, how are you? Kanye West got um, banned off Instagram yesterday. Here's my security friend, make sure I don't say anything. Uh, too bad, don't you? Make sure I stick to the rules. Kanye West didn't stick to the rules. He did a, a tweet. Oh no, what is it? An Instagram? How much does a hipster weigh? One Instagram. Kanye's band, Mark Zuckerberg, has kicked Kanye West off Instagram and he's had a tweet deleted for being against community guidelines. Now what happened? Kanye woke up and started ranting about Jews controlling him, controlling the music industry. And, uh, yeah. Bloody hell, Kanye. My conspiracy theory, I think Kanye West and his record label are uh, stirring the pot of shit to create more controversy, more views, more retweets, more mentions of the Kanye in the news. Let's not forget, I, for I think it's universal uh, the record the record label that Kanye's with and uh, Two minutes of research. I found a lot of Jewish executives in Kanye West's company. So I think they're going after the very lucrative anti-semitic shekel It's my theory You know the history and the meaning of it. You yeah. shouldn't be doing that. So if I don't know the history and the meaning of the of the only I shouldn't be you're saying to me I shouldn't be doing it 
I think you're wrong, and I think you, you show me great disrespect no, from a man to another man. No, you're wrong. I'm only asking you a very simple question, which I did ask you. You asked me if I was Jewish, and I said I no. You, you said no, and I said, do you know it's an holy day today? By the sukkah, it's here. You said no. No, I do so know. No, no, that's know, not true. I know why it's here. If you know, that's why I asked you. If you know why it's here, yeah. if you're doing recording, then you should be able to tell me the recording you're doing is based on... Don't record me. I never asked you to record me. No, no. Hey. Get your fucking hand off me. Get your fucking hand off me. Don't come here. That's what I told you. Never you come here. That is why I'm here. You're trying to intimidate non Jewish people I'm from. I'm you. I'm just telling you a very simple thing. You're full of shit. I'm a security here. You're full of shit, dude. Do anything here. Keep recording. You're full this of shit. My job. If I'm here doing my job, I'm protecting. Does your job space. include telling? I'm protecting. The, keep on recording. If I'm protecting this space, I'm tempted to stop you recording need now. You to come and ask a question before taking any All right. video recording of this space. That's yeah. why I'm here. All right, I've got a question then. Why are you being an asshole to filmmakers? Why are you being an asshole? What's wrong with you? Hello. Oh, how are you? It's okay if I video. No, you can. So this wonderful gentleman who obviously has very good taste, you've handed in a, a butter knife. Metal knife. A met wait, wait, let's have a look at it. Do you have a license for this knife? Have you got a license for that knife? Oh, it's a but it's definitely a butter knife. These new anti-terror uh, visible bins are, are rubbish. Of interesting news, a police inspector, quite a high-ranking cop, has been convicted in a court of law here in England. Or was it Wales? Anyway, here in Great Britain, a police inspector was convicted of assault for strangling a 16-year-old boy who was filming a police station. And most interestingly, in the footage, the police inspector asks the 16-year-old, why are you filming? And the little boy, well... The teenager says, I'm filming because I can. The police inspector says, I know you can, but why? And then he strangles him. Fuck! The lady with the black uh, scarf on her head is the one that engaged with auditing Britain. And it was a funny, funny, funny interaction when he wanted to know how he could hogtie and handcuff people. And she was like, yeah, 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 just fill in the forms. And he, he kept reiterating. I, and this is his video where he was looking for Charlie Veach. Still can't believe I didn't bump into him. It wasn't meant to be on that occasion. Also, I would have felt tempted to film Auditing Britain, get him to do an intro. Um, and uh, he's, not, he's, not, uh, he's not showing his face. Anyway, AB wanted to handcuff people. And the lady was like, yep. Sign on the dotted line, we will get you handcuffing scruffs within three months. I don't know how long police training is, but we'll get you handcuffing before you can say auditing Britain. Kid's having a spliff. He's having a spliff near the cops. Teenagers, so edgy. Wait, where's, there you go, there's some cops. Wait, are these real cops or are they mannequins? It's hard to tell these days. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Then it fell apart fell apart oh babe oh babe like it always does okay just waiting on a friend waiting on a friend here in exchange square all this talk of nuclear war is getting me worried the talk and worry of nuclear strikes who's going to strike for that's all right madam so who's going to strike first well it's good to know that at least the hard left are supporting the strikes you know maybe they want everyone to get wiped out just support the strikes at least a thousand megatons per city. We're inside the Arndale, I'm outside Foot Locker and I want to bring you guys the big advert. There's Foot Locker. And I want to bring you guys the advert they're using to sell shoes. I mean, I don't want to be some sort of urban anthropologist, but it looks like the cameraman's just interrupted some, some drug deal here. He's stolen a swatch. A swatch. What are they gonna do? 
Oh.